Yeah. Um, I would say giving is something that was instilled in me. Um, I have amazing parents who uh, raised me to um, give faithfully and generously, and that was modeled for me. And they included that in my upbringing. Um, I actually remember like tithing birthday money sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, God gave me this, so I'm gonna give. Um, so giving is an instinct for me because it was something that I was um, not only raised to do, but it was modeled so well for me. So we were excited to, to give when we had the opportunity to do so. God has truly redefined giving for me. Um, I mentioned how I was um, raised to give and how it was modeled very well for me, but um, in this season of my life, I got to really understand and see how giving is truly a privilege and an honor. It's, it's something that I get to do. It's my obedience to God. It's an act of trust to God. It's my re love response to what God has done for me. So it's not just an autopilot response of like, this is something I have to do, but it's the heart posture of this is something I get to do because of how much I love Him. I, when we were first informed about the One Campaign, um, I definitely felt the tug and um, God leading me to be obedient and committing to that. But I had no clue what God had in store, <laughs> what He wanted to show me in my response to that. So um, towards the end of February, I actually unfortunately got into a car accident and um, my car ended up being totaled as a result of that. And so I realized at that point I had two options. <laughs> I could either worry and stress about how as a college student transitioning into grad school, I would be able to find a new car or I could choose to trust God and continue to give faithfully and continue to be obedient to what I feel like He's called me to do. So I chose to be faithful, just trusting and believing and praying um, and partnering with my community and my family and everyone was looking for a car for me. And um, I remember five months later, I had a family member reach out to me and say, hey, I have a friend and they wanna give you a free car. So five months later, after totaling my car and choosing to trust and believe in God's faithfulness, I received a free car that I didn't have to pay for, that was completely given to me in, in such love. I was, the owner was such, um, they were so generous and, and they were so kind. They sent me a note and um, a letter and they knew I was going to grad school and that was their act of faith to me. They were like, I want to, I believe God's calling me to give this car away and I want to give it to you. And I wasn't even praying for a free car, I was just praying for God to <laughs> provide in whatever way he would see fit. But he provided beyond my comprehension or what I could even think or imagine. And now I have a car. <laughs> I would say the time is now. I would say there's never been a better time to step out on faith and allow God the space in the room to remind him that he, to remind you that he is exactly who he says that he is and indeed he will do exactly what he said he would do and that he is the source of all of the provision in our lives. That's what I would say.